Hello guys, welcome to the part 2 version of mercury decontamination using acid leaching. So one thing I want to explain here is that how can we do this? That's one major question. So this is the procedure and the methodology. So first, we know we need to attain the fluorescent lamp, which is a spent fluorescent lamp. When we talk about spent fluorescent lamp, it means that the fluorescent lamp is no more in use. So we we'll take it. Now when we take the uh, fluorescent lamp, when we take the fluorescent lamp, inside the fluorescent lamps, there is a phosphor. And this phosphor contains, it's a powder inside the fluorescent lamp. And these powders contain some major element, which I mentioned in my part two video, arsenic, lead, manganese, mercury as the main component, and the rest. So what we do now is that we call something combination in hydrometallurgy. So for the combination process, we need to attain the lamp. The combination process involves the crushing of the lamp. The lamp is made up of glass, so we crush it and do segregation. After segregation, we then move on to grinding. We we'll grind it to the particle size that we want and pulverize. From there, when we talk about pulverize, it's reducing the particle size. And why is it so important to crush and grind? In hydrometallurgic application, the particle size is very important because the lesser the particle size, more efficient the leaching rate or the leaching process we get. So that is why we do the crushing, grinding, and pulverizing. After that, we go to the leaching. Now, acid leaching. So in this case, we are using an acid. And with here, from research, hydrochloric acid seems to be one of the amazing acid which can do the work. Therefore, we prepare our solution of acid with a concentration. Now, with research, the concentration range from one molar to four molar, but for efficiency, we are using one molar from research. So then, we prepare our solution. After we run our solution, we need to start our leaching process. So we take our sample, which has been pulverized, which is, we take a solid ratio of four gram to 40 milliliters. From research, the solid to liquid ratio is a factor, and it shows that it should be 10% weight to volume ratio. Then after that, we we'll take our sample, take our beaker, pour the sample into the beaker, and then introduce our solution to it. Now one factor is here is that the leaching time. The leaching time is very important. The leaching time is the duration in which the leaching or the dissolution takes place. If so we are going to use a leaching time of nine days. Someone will ask why? Because we are 100% decontaminating the fluorescent lamp. So after the leaching, we then do characterization. So after leaching, we need to filter the solution. So we filter the solution because we grinded and crushed the glass tube. We'll get, we'll get a residue and we'll get the leach solution. So we we'll send the residue for SRF analysis to know whether the decontamination process was successful. And then we'll take the leach solution to AAS. Someone will ask, will ask, why do we need to take the residue to SRF analysis? SRF is X-ray fluorescence. So with that, it deals with the solid particles. And it helps us to move the elemental component or composition of the residue. And the AAS is for solution. So then the AAS also will let us know the amount of mercury leached in the solution. And from there, we could take the solution and do precipitation. Precipitation in this case in hydrometallurgy is we trying to get out the mercury into what solid form using various means. And since we have decontaminated the residue, the residue could be used for any other engineering application such as binders, in road construction. And also with the precipitated mercury, it can also be used in other applications, engineering applications, so in the industry, in the medical sector. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Steve Ronwa from the Department of Materials Engineering, reading BSc Methodological Engineering, and I hope you enjoy the concept.